the Missouri National Guard one-on-one. -on -one. Missouri National Guard, always ready, always there. Well, hey, 25-0, and 0, and who, who would have thought that uh, back a few months ago? We're joined by Mizzou head volleyball coach Wayne Krecklow. And, Coach, you know, last time we talked, you said it, it, it was getting to the point that it was kind of hard to wrap your head around, and that was, I think, three wins ago. So at, at 25-0, and 0, have you found a way to quantify this anymore? Not really. You know, we're just we're just thankful that we've been able to continue. And and again, our, our kids have a really good mindset. They I don't think they you don't hear a lot of talk about numbers. Um, and I think at the end of the day, they I'm sure, you know, they feel good about it. But I think they're smart enough to know that that the, those kind of numbers really don't mean a whole lot. It's it's you know, it's it's where you finish and, and it's where we're going from here. So I think they've got a pretty healthy attitude about it. You know, we'll see how long we can keep it going, but but I do know they come to work every day, and that's that's one of the reasons why they're doing well. You talk to them, and they all seem more focused on kind of the stage of the season that you're in, and that idea of hey, and then within the next couple of weeks, it's going to be time to transition into postseason play, and and not uh, not failing in the tournament, and that that kind of thing. Is that where they really need to be? Not hey. 25 let's get to 26 and on down the line yeah I think I, you know I think what we're trying to continue to reemphasize all the time is 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 there are a lot of things that we can still get better at um, you know and, and there's you know we know where people are going to attack us we know what our weak spots are uh, so when we come in here we spend a lot of time on trying to get better at those kind of things so I think our kids understand that you know even though we've experienced a lot of success so far that there's areas of the game that we can certainly improve upon. As you look at this weekend, uh, another couple of tough SEC opponents coming in, what are kind of your areas of focus uh, as you welcome Ole Miss on Friday and then Kentucky on Sunday? Well, the, you know, they both they both attack a lot from the right side, and, and that's something that people are going to continue to try to, you know, it, it's it, we know what our weaknesses is, and that's one of the areas that we've got to get better at, defending right sides. And people, you know, everybody's got video, everybody breaks down video, and every match we play, everybody watches. And so it's pretty obvious that when we play right now the other team's middles and the right sides are usually the ones that if they're gonna if they're gonna challenge us right now though that's where it's coming from um, old miss has got two very athletic middles that do really well off of one foot behind the setter um, Kentucky's just a really good solid team with a lot of good weapons everywhere and they've got an all-american on the right side you know, we you talk about uh, how how well your team has played this year. At the same time, though, it seems like with teams like this, there's also a little something about them, just a little something. In. And what is it you've observed about this team that uh, maybe is hard to explain, but has contributed to the way they've won so much? Uh, you know, I, I think the mindset of this group is pretty unique. Um, you know, in the past, we've you know, obviously, we've had a number of teams in the past that have been really successful as well. And it just seems like with with a number of those teams that at some point in time distractions started to pile up and I think they they started thinking about rankings and numbers and and I, I really get a sense from these kids that you know while they're aware of it that it's not something that's kind of consuming their thought right now and I, I, I think they like playing the game I think they like competing and I think that they know that I think they're after bigger things than, than just numbers. I, I think at some point, this is one of these years when, when the significance of, I think, what they're doing won't, won't really hit them until sometime after they're done with this season. And you, they'll look back and go, my, you know, wow, that was, that was a good year. Well, it's been a heck of a ride so far, Coach. Uh, appreciate your time. And good luck this weekend trying to move it to 26 and 27 and up. Thank you. At Coach Wayne Krecklow, his team is 25-0. and 0. Unbelievable at times, but you should come out and see him this weekend. It's something to behold, this Missouri volleyball team.